Good morning, everyone. It's me again, Al Brown Spencer. Uh, it is Wednesday, the uh, 28th of April, 2021, and it is just past nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, the situation is getting worse and worse and worse, and I need your help so much. I am being under siege here. The place or the ex-hotel I am staying in, the room I am staying in, uh, although, as I explained in one of the other videos or the previous videos, I am using a camcorder, like action camera, to record while I am away. Uh, and uh, I'm putting it on laps, which is two seconds intervals, which means every second of the lapse time on the camera is equivalent to one minute in real time. And imagine 30 seconds in real time is half uh, a minute or 30 seconds uh, 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 sorry 30 seconds in real time is half a second uh, 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 on the lapse time uh, so it is difficult uh, to find out or to see or to see the difference if they pause it which is the case because the camera is wireless and these cunts they get in the room whenever they want they do whatever they want they poison my food and drink easily and they can kill me at any moment that's that's absolutely easy for them uh, these cunts as well they have their agents or their people around me and i cannot even confront them or tell them you are blah 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 you know it is one of these things and i know for sure and they are just surrounding me in a way that unbelievable even my youtube videos are blocked some of it edited and so on and not everyone can see it and it's it's just unbelievable uh, I am protesting every day in Bournemouth Square uh, and I am leafletting as well uh, in people's houses and so on I am determined to annihilate these cunts especially the horrible cunts in the country where I was born because these are the ones responsible for almost everything that was done to me from the beginning and they are the core and the source for the tragedy and the drama I'm going through and the trauma that I have been through my life and even till the moment these cunts have their authorities over me and hands over me and the British authorities are liaising with them for reasons beyond my uh, uh, understanding uh, and so on however my message to the British authorities you are responsible and liable exactly the same like these cunts from the country where I was born however you can redeem yourselves if you literally admit what they used you or forced you to uh, allow participate and facilitate to be done to me and we can take them to the uh, uh, international court because that is now a matter between two countries between the UK and the country where I was born as the country where I was born used their political system to put a pressure and treaties blah 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 and they used the British authorities against me even till the moment they have authorities over me although I withdrew the nationality of that country I have only a British passport and these cunts still have uh, authorities over me indirectly. Uh, the other thing as well, uh, uh, if you are trying to watch my YouTube videos and you don't see them or you find anything weird or you cannot contact me via phone or email or you don't get an answer, please get in touch in person. Uh, uh, I put on leaflets where I'm staying which is room number one. 135 West Hill Road and that's Bournemouth BH25EG uh, I am determined to annihilate these cunts from the country where I was born and here in the UK and get my compensations my financial compensations which is unnegotiable it's not negotiable and uh, also these cunts must understand that for them to be exposed and to put this case to public and to put them in prison is a must too. You make a mistake, you fucking cunts, you must pay the price. Not just money, but also responsibility, liability, and punishment. And the other thing that I would like to add, that there are some stuff and some things that they did to me that must happen to them 
exactly the same. So just to give you an example, they scarred me, not just psychologically or even personally inside me, uh, they also scarred me physically for life. And they must get the same like they did to me, 100%, not negotiable, they must get the same. The only thing that I will not uh, claim as eye for an eye is death. I don't believe in death as a punishment or revenge or whatever. But simply, if you use your authorities and decide that you scar someone physically for life, you must have it done to you as well. Because what kind of, of punishment or thinking like this tribal... Uh, you know, from the clans, from ancient time. Uh, come on, guys. Just be real. We are in 2021. If you do this to someone, you're a fucking cunt who cannot live with people. And if you have authority, your punishment is double or even triple like normal people or what happens to normal people because you have authority and authority is responsibility that being added to being a human living with other people so if a human a normal person living with other people commit something like that or do something like that or do something wrong they are punished yeah but people in the authority when they do something like that or use their authorities and harm people deliberately or you know harm people because no one has the right to harm people anyway no matter what so if they harm people their punishment must be doubled or tripled because they have responsibility that they have authorities to protect people not to use it against people or torture people or so on so my compensations it's not negotiable financial compensations exposing these bastards and put them in prison this is not negotiable the other thing is these cunts from the country where I was born, they are surrounding me and everywhere. Even my YouTube, even my phone is hacked, my tablet is hacked, my every my whole life is hacked inside out. And these cunts watching me, they have access to the room. They can they can literally I I drink water, I put the water here or anything in the fridge where I have. They can put poison here easily, which they do even till yesterday. And I cannot do anything but to get on with it. So, in other words, guys, these people can kill me like this. Yet, I am determined to fucking expose them and put them in prison for what they have done to me. So, please, guys, support. Please get in touch. I need your help. We must expose these cunts as soon as possible. It's not fair that someone like me, after all what was done to me by the authorities... I am crying for help and I it's, it's not fair that I'm facing these cunts on my own and I don't want anyone along the way to get benefits or make benefits or make you know something from me blah 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 and all of this just want to take my compensations uh, get these cunts punished get the, 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 the case public protect the future leave the country and go and live in Castillon Please get in touch. Please help. My name is Albert Brown Spencer. I live at number one or room number one, West Hill Road, uh, number 135, West Hill Road, uh, Bournemouth, and that's uh, BH25EG. Again, it's room number one, uh, uh, 135, West Hill Road, BH25EG, and that's in Bournemouth. Uh, and my telephone number is 0746592503. And my email address is alpha uh, or a for alpha dot b for bravo dot spencer at hotmail dot com. Uh, these cunts must be annihilated. I must bring them down. They must be in prison. I must get my compensations. Uh, and I have to leave the country as soon as I can. Well, thank you very much, guys, and have a great day. Thank you. Bye.